Welcome to the Social Regressive. Please excuse the damaged eye. I think it is healing. It feels a little bit better today. Uh, what we're going to take a look at today are some range bags. In the past, in some of the demonstration videos that you've seen me do at all kinds of different distances, uh, we've used a couple of different things to try to get neatly on target. Of course, you want a nice solid bipod up front if you're doing really precision work, like with the long range, uh, you know, the mile shoot that we just did here recently. And make sure you go check that video out because we were starting to get more consistent hits out of that distance. But uh, for those kinds of shoots, a lot of time it's difficult to use some of these uh, really nice leather bags like this one. This is a protector rear bag. I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can check this one out. Uh, this one is, you, you see this all the time out at the range. A lot of the competitors use these. Uh, there are a couple different models, some with kind of a hard base. This one's the soft base model. Some are taller than others. And this is one that I've been using for a good long while and it is, it's quite tough. Of course, it, you know, it's a nice kind of thick leather has a little bit of squish to it and this one just plants itself uh, because it's kind of heavy. Now this can be a bit of a problem for some of the types of shooting that you might want to do like maybe you're getting out into the field doing some uh, some kind of mid-range hunting where you're gonna have to get down low with a rifle and you know for, for things like that you don't want to be carrying around a big old brick of leather and uh, what I assume to be small rocks in there. Uh, and maybe you don't want to be carrying around the sock full of rocks either because again this is kind of heavy. Uh, this does work though. I've used these uh, for quite a bit of shooting. But what we have here are some new models from Champion. Uh, these right here come in a variety of form factors. There are actually a couple of others that are, are not shown on the table here. These are the three that I'm going to be testing out because I think they're going to be really kind of flexible for uh, range use and for getting out in the field. Uh, this little guy right here, you've probably seen a lot like this. This is just a cylinder, and this is full of styrofoam beads. You can fill these with airsoft pellets. Uh, this actually came pre-filled, and because it is full of those little styrofoam pellets, it is extremely lightweight. This would not be a burden to carry out into the field at all, especially since you do get that uh, little carry handle. You've probably seen ones like this, like I mentioned. Uh, we actually used a Midway one of these uh, on the mile shoot and it turned out to be just great for that yeah, shoot because the with the kind of uneven terrain that we were dealing with and having to get uh, you know different heights with different guns this low model which is great for the range just didn't really work out uh, we weren't able to get quite the heights that we were after and these can be extremely flexible you can you know kind of squeeze them to maintain a bit of extra height and then when your rifle pushes down you can kind of let it sag a little bit if you want it to be able to fit you can turn it different directions in order to get uh, different heights for whatever setup that you might have and you can do it all really quickly with something like this uh, so yeah this one i expect to be using quite a lot in the future this one is going to be an excellent one for range use uh, this is designed to act as, well, they call this the wedge bag, and you've probably seen a couple like this as well, but it's supposed to fit right along this angle that you get kind of under the, the heel toe area of your stock, and then this, you just kind of push it backward to decrease your elevation with your rifle, and then bring it forward to uh, increase your elevation. This one is, yeah, just wonderful for bench use, and it's going to be very solid overall. Uh, it's going to sit very neatly uh, on top of or under the stock here, and then it's easy to move back and forth. It's also a great width, so that as maybe you're on the bench or at the range, it's not knocking against your your elbows or anything. Uh, it's gonna it has enough width that it's going to seat even your widest stocks, but then it's not so much that it's going to be uh, interfering with anything. This is a really cool design. One thing that I should point out about both of these is that instead of being the usual Cordura kind of uh, very thick nylon fabric, which you know is fine for a lot of the work that I've done, these use a little bit more of a, a sticky, it's, it's like a rubberized fabric substance here. And I think that this is going to grab onto the stock very well and be able to uh, hold it and kind of plant with it a little bit easier. Then you can see on the underside of this one that where it interfaces with the bench, it'll be doing the same thing. You have this kind of rubberized material. So I think that this should do a really good job of staying put 
uh, when you're out at the range. Now this one is kind of the funky one and you might be wondering what in the world this one could be used for and the hint is right in here. You can use this for mounting on fences, barricades, and then uh, probably for some of you hog hunters out there that, okay, here in Oklahoma, the hog population is so bad that they have basically re removed all restrictions on hunting them. You don't have to have even a hunter hunting license, when last I checked, uh, to hunt hogs. If you want to go out and blaze away at them, yeah, you don't even need a hunting license. You don't have to do anything. You can be hunting from a vehicle, and this is a really cool vehicle bag right here. Uh, you can mount this over your windowsill and maybe if you do roll up on uh, those hogs you can just mount your gun uh, right in the side here and start taking shots out your window. If you get those shots of you know those, those targets of opportunity this is the one that's going to make it happen. And this is one that you could probably pop between the barbs on barbed wire. You know pop that down there um, yeah, if, if you're doing competition shooting, a barricade, and overall, even though this looks like it should be nice and heavy, because it has kind of that polyfill instead of uh, like rocks or sand or anything like that, this actually is uh, pretty darn portable. This would be easy to get around. And uh, for you guys that are taking those shots out the window or whatever, hey, check it out. You do get a little bag here so you can drop your uh, empty brass or uh, maybe a spare magazine in there. So that's that's pretty rad. I'm not sure about the prices on these yet. As I go into the editing booth and uh, put together the final version, maybe we'll have the uh, an idea of what the real retail prices will be like, but I expect them to be very reasonable because overall champion targets, whether they're the paper ones, uh, the steel ones, in general for, you know, kind of the market prices, these are going to be on the uh, the lower end, even though they're going to perform uh, really a lot like the higher end, like the machine rest that I have down here that I've been using for a while. Uh, they do make some pretty uprated stuff at some very decent prices. So thanks a lot for watching you guys. Make sure that you like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell because we have a whole lot of really interesting things coming up soon. I'm going to be changing up the way that this channel works. We're going to be introducing new kinds of content that I think will be applicable to more of you, uh, especially hunters coming up here. Uh, people that are concerned about maybe what the terminal effects of different projectiles are going to be. Uh, we're going to be finding out some really interesting things. We're going to be doing a bunch of optics reviews too, so don't miss out. Thanks everybody that has made these videos possible. Thanks to uh, Champion for sending these bags over for me to test out here in the future. And thank you to patrons of the Destructive Arts that have bought things like the, uh, the rifle that you see behind me here, the, the Savage 12 FV. Uh, yeah, you guys are making it happen, keeping the lights on. If anybody else wants to chip in a buck or two a month, I'll put a link to Patreon and you can uh, get involved there. And uh, yeah, thank you to Sportsman's Guide at the 338 Lapua Magnum level and Stan and Mary at the 338 Lapua Magnum level, Peter at the 300 Win Mag level. You guys are awesome and I really appreciate all of you. Um, I'll be seeing you guys around in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.